All right, well, let's get started. It's being reported that major DC character and member of the Justice League, Flash, will make his latest live-action debut not on the big screen, but on the next season of CW's television show, Arrow. Not only will he make an appearance as a recurring character on the show, but that if things go well, there are plans for a television spinoff Flash series. The series will be written by Arrow co-creators Greg Berlanti and Andrew Kreisberg, along with DC Entertainment's Jeff Johns. John, how does this news affect the chances of a Flash movie and the character's involvement in an upcoming Justice League movie? I hate to be the killjoy here, but that (laughs) apparently seems to be my lot in life. Um, I think this bodes very poorly for the possibilities of a Flash showing up on the big screen. Now, we should bring something up up here. During Comic-Con, there was that initial report, there was a report that came out that said, oh, There's going to be a Flash film in 2016 and a Justice League film in 2017. And instantly people started writing to us to say, hey, John, now that it's been confirmed that there's going to be a Flash film, and and we were very quick to point people, wait a minute, wait a minute, slow down. There has not been any Flash film confirmed by anybody yet. That was just a report. This did not come from Warner Brothers. And once again, really emphasizes the importance of make sure you take everything as a rumor until you hear it from the source itself, which in this case would have been Warner Brothers in DC. And now we know for a fact that there was no plans for a Flash movie in 2016, but rather looking at doing a television show. I really think this is not good news for those of us who are kind of looking forward to seeing a Flash movie because Warner Brothers and CW have exhibited a desire to kind of create two universes. They have their television universe, they have their movie universe. And just like Smallville, that was never Superman. Smallville was Clark Kent and Smallville. It wasn't Superman. And they were very careful to keep that totally separate from our understanding of the big screen Superman. And they did those things completely differently. And I think that was wise. In the same vein, I don't think they've ever planned on giving a Stephen Amell, who stars as Oliver Queen Arrow in the TV show Arrow, a show you should be watching, by the way, because it's a great show. Um, I don't think they've ever planned on using him in the movie universe. And by bringing in Flash, it makes me very suspicious that they don't have plans on using Flash in the movie universe. I don't know that for a fact, and I hope I'm wrong. It just makes me suspicious of that. It also makes me, it's interesting when you read this report too, that they were talking about they did have this television series Amazon in the works that was going to be like a Smallville version of Wonder Woman, and now they're saying it's on hold. And they're saying it's on hold because the story isn't quite where they want it to be yet, but I suspect it's on hold because they want to make a movie out of Wonder Woman, and they don't want to cross those universes. Once again, this is just me speculating, so take it, I could be a thousand percent wrong, that's just the way I think it's working out. Dennis, how do you see it? Sadly, I have to agree with you, John. Uh, It does not bode well for a Flash movie or also speculating his inclusion in Justice League in the future. You know, we talked about the five slots, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. And and the fifth slot is kind of like, who is it going to be? Is it going to be Flash? Is it going to be Aquaman? Is it going to be someone else? Martian Manhunter, maybe. Yeah, I, I think this points to maybe them going with Aquaman instead in the Justice League movie, because why, why do a television series if you're going to have him uh, in his standalone movie or in the Justice League? So I, I don't think, uh, yeah, Flash fans are going to be that happy. They'll be happy that there's a television series, but I don't think they're going to be happy when he's not included in the future <laughs> future movies. What do you think, Chris Lee? Do you think there's any possibility we'll see a Flash in, uh, in Justice League after this news? I actually agree with both of you. I think that... DC has separated the TV universe and the movie universe. And I think that Marvel's trying to bring characters to both TV and movies. But I think you're right about DC that they're going to separate them. Um, But the only thing that stuck out for me from both of your answers were Wonder Woman. (laughs) Big surprise. I know. 